Stinky does a propaganda town hall. <laughs> Roll it! And he said it five consecutive times before Congress. What is going on? Well, it's a uh, sick and angry world for a lot of reasons. And we're uh, going to make it better. We're going to heal up. Yeah, how? How, you asshole? How? Our world, we're going to get rid of all these wars that are starting all over the place because of incompetent you didn't get rid of one more. Oh, look at that mouth breather. Look at the, look at these freaks. <laughs> look at that. Oh my God. You tell me that that's not a cult. Continue. That lady lost her dentures. And we're going to make it better. You know, Victor Orban made us. Victor Orban. <laughs> Why do you keep on dropping that, that guy's name? Huh? And look, you did not get shot. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. You did not get shot and they weren't shooting at you. Yeah, continue. You got those maggots killed. They said, bring Trump back and we won't have any problems. Seriously. Yeah, right. You and Putin would love that. <laughs> we're very strong about that. So we're going to hopefully do very well. We have a, an election coming up and... Actually, you know, they keep saying 60, but it starts in uh, Delaware and North Carolina and other places. Hey, lots. what happened the same day? What happened the same day, Stinky? You didn't get shot in that ear. I'll say it till the cows come home. Sooner than that. So we're going to be, I think we're going to be very well set up to do a great job. And do we love Pennsylvania? Do we love it? <laughs> hey, where are the black folk at? <laughs> These are just clown, clan rallies at sundown towns. Let me, let me ask you. Oh, God, look at her. Oh. <laughs> Lady, you came out wearing your drapes. <laughs> Such ugly, weird people. <laughs> he looks at them and he says, man, it's the same idiots. It's the same idiots and it's emptying out. <laughs> look, 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 look. <laughs> Man, you think that there's like a bunch of people. <laughs> this is pathetic, and he knows it. Here's the messed up part about it Stinky knows that this is pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Look, your next January 6th participants. <laughs> freak show. It's a freak show. Our country's failed borders are talking about our commitment. You need to curb. Country's failed borders are. Look at this idiot. You know, these people don't blink. They don't blink. They're in the cult. Look at them. <laughs> Continue, stinky. To never say the word radical Islamic terrorism or. What are you talking about? <laughs> Those, they just don't say the words every five minutes, you asshole, like you guys do, scaring the shit out of these motherfuckers. <laughs> Illegal alien. President Trump is back with us. What is your reaction to that? Because who attacked us on 9-11 and who's crossing our border? So uh, she wants to be politically correct and we can't be politically correct. Anymore. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, you idiot? Look, look. Hey, wait, wait, why don't you slam Putin then? Huh? Huh? Because you're scared. You're a punk. October 7th, people saw it. 
We have things going on in the world right now with, with Israel and with the Middle East is blowing up. It's blowing up. No, it's not. You're full of shit. We have Ukraine and Russia. That would never happen. That would have never happened. October 7th would have... Bullshit. Bullshit. Your peace accords blew that place up. You idiot. Yeah, number one. And number two, you were going to hand Ukraine over to, to, to that asshole. Yeah, now he's all jammed up. Continue. Never happened. If I were the president, it would have never happened. And everybody knew. <laughs> Why? Born. Why? They didn't have the money for Hamas and for... Iran was not broke. You signed a waiver allowing them to sell oil, number one. And number two, that was not expensive what they did. It wasn't, you asshole. Continue. Hezbollah, they didn't have the money for anybody. They wanted to get by. And we would have made a fair deal with them. I was only looking to make a fair deal. Oh, yeah. Uh, you would have done this. You would have done that. You would have done this. You didn't do jack shit. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. You're pathetic. But, you know, I wanted to say it so much during my term. We went four years without any uh, blow-ups. We had no world trade shit. Bullshit! That's a lie, and you know it. That's a lie. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. We had no radical Islamic terror. We had no radical Islamic terror. Because we were very... No, we just had domestic terror by your mouth breathers, you asshole. You prick. All your mouth breathers shooting everything up, you asshole. Tough at the borders, and we were very tough with our statements. Nope, nope, nope. As a matter of fact... Fewer people are coming now than when they came, went, than with you. Other than when you botched COVID and killed a million people, you asshole. We had no... The whole world was a safe place. That was the question they asked. Vic. There were 51 conflicts going on. 51, right? And he never took us out of Afghanistan. He's a prick. He's a prick. Victor Orban, who's a, a really a very, considered a very strong... They said he's a strong man. So he's a fucking idiot, Victor Orban. <laughs> he told you that the world wouldn't blow up if you were the president? <laughs> Again, you didn't get shot in that ear. You did not get shot in that ear, you prick. Yeah, no, that was a fake stage situation there. Yeah. You need a strong man. He's a strong man. He's the prime minister of Hungary. And he said... We don't, we don't need a strong man here. We don't, there you go. He just said the quiet part out loud. We don't need a strong man, you asshole. Bring back Trump. Everybody. Now, I'm not saying it, but he said it because I'd rather say respect. But he said everybody was afraid of Trump. You bring no, up no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I'm not too old to remember the stinky in Helsinki where you bowed, you bowed down to a five foot nothing weasel baby killer. Yeah, yeah. That was America's most embarrassing moment ever, ever, ever. Prick. Come back, you're not going to have any problems. It's all going to go away. The world is blowing up. The world is blowing up. Hey, this, this brings. And Sean, one thing? Yeah. The world is blowing up, and when you look at Ukraine... And no, it's not. And you look at Russia, you look at all the things that are happening, we are potentially getting ready. I'm telling you, and I've made a lot of predictions, and this is not a prediction because it's so bad. I don't want it to be a prediction. We're heading into World War III territory. No, we're not. No, we're not. Not at all. Not at all. Sorry. Not at all. Because of the power of weapons, nuclear weapons in particular, but other weapons also, and I know the weapons better than anybody. Oh, uh, so. yeah, right. <laughs> I'm the one that bought them and, fit, you know, we rebuilt our entire... You didn't buy anything. You didn't, and they didn't rebuild anything. Anything. Shoot. That was just maintenance and upkeep, you asshole. What every president does. You didn't buy jack shit. You didn't do any, no, and you talk about like, I did this, I did that, I did that. You didn't do jack shit. Hell, you don't even pay taxes, you prick. Military, we upgraded our entire program. That's bullshit nonsense. And you know, the one program I hated to upgrade, hated it, was the nuclear program. And I understand it may be better than anybody. My uncle was a... You're an imbecile is what you are. 
MIT, a professor, the longest serving professor in the history of MIT. And that's school. not, that's a lie. That's a lie. And what did, let's say he was, let's say he was. What happened to you? You're a functionally illiterate imbecile. <laughs> guy. We have a smart family. It's nice to have a smart family. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. Have you seen that mouth breather, Eric? <laughs> and look at you. Look at you. And what about your Einstein wife? <laughs> they say she speaks five languages. English ain't one of them. <laughs> but I knew, I understood nuclear for a long time. The you understood nuclear for a long time, right? <laughs> Hell, you read it at third grade level. You read it at third grade level. And they had to, when they did briefings, the ones that you did actually participate in, it was, they had to show you picture books, you asshole. <laughs> the power of nuclear weapons. You need a president that's not going to be taking you into war. We won't have World War Three when I'm elected. But with these... We're not going <laughs> to... That you haven't, you're going to end up having World War <laughs> <laughs>